Here we are at Game Central Station and I'm asking guests here at the convention to recommend me an essential NES game everyone should have in their collection that is not expensive. Let's go. Alright Andy, yes, aka Pac-Man Case, here we are with Daniel from Dirt Road Games. Yes sir. Essential NES game that everybody should have in their collection that isn't expensive. You're going to think of this about it's ridiculous, like from somebody that owns 676 okay. NES games. Kung Fu. Dude, Kung Fu's not bad. It is my favorite it's game of bad. all time. Dude, I'm going to go with Jackal, bro. Jackal, well, that's, that's a great That's my number choice. one game of all time, and I feel like if people don't have it in their collection, they need it in their collection. That is a great choice. Jackal's dude. incredible. It's only going to cost you like $10, and yeah. it's the best like NES game in my opinion. That's a fun co-op game, it's, too, dude. Okay, I have a perfect game. I don't know if you already have this, but The Guardian Legend. Ooh, that's a good Are game, Are you familiar dude. with I that game? I love that game. I, the Guardian Legend, it, it starts out, it's an overhead flyer, and if you can make it through the first stage, then you're walking around kind of Zelda yeah. style, and it's like bird's eye view, but kind of at an angle. Dude, but I Guardian Legend. See another one on the list that we need. The Guardian Legend, and this is only 15. I'm assuming because of the sticker, but that's a great price also because of that sticker. But that's a great price. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab Guardian Legend. Here we are with the man, the myth, the legend, Caleb, aka Phoenix Reese. What's going on? All right, here we are with Devin. You guys know Devin. He is the man that works the editing magic on all the videos. He is an NES game uh -huh. that is an essential game everybody should have in their library, but is not expensive, something cheap. I'm looking for an essential NES game everybody should have in their collection, because you grew up with the NES, right? Oh man, me and the NES go back, <laughs> dude. We go back in the day. Yeah, man. Uh, what year did that come out? Uh, you know, I'm actually not sure. I should know this. 80 something? 80 something for sure. I feel like I feel like 80s, maybe Man, 86, 87. The 80s were I know, dude. something wild, right? Keep NES game everyone should have. Yes. Expensive. Okay, I actually can't answer this though. Okay. Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh yeah. It's gotta be the most basic yes. answer. Yes. But it's the right, it's the right choice. It is, it's the right choice. It's gotta man. be said in the video if yeah. you want essential. Yeah, yeah. Under 30. Okay, under you 30. could go with any of the original Mario's then, but I would say you have to start out since this is the first first one with the classic Mario Bros and Duck Hunt Mario, which is say, yeah, Mario with, Bros and what, Duck Hunt, eight yeah. bucks or so yeah, like, yeah, that's not, not a budget all. breaker I remember playing that back in the 80s on my um, Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my parents yelling yeah. at me going it's going to rot your brain exactly. back in the 80s they did that cuz I would remember I knew I was gonna find, right? And we got one, two, three different copies here of Super Mario Bros. 3. All of them are really clean. They're all 20 bucks a piece. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these, which by the way, this is my favorite 2D Mario game of all time. Oh! All right, we're here with Tony, one of the fine gentlemen that is running Game Central Station, right. Winder, Georgia. I'll leave the info down below. You guys got to check out this event next year. It is amazing. Oh, yeah. uh, what, I'm, what I want to hear from you today, Shane, um, you know NES pretty well, right? Yes. Sir. I'm looking for an essential NES game that everybody should have in their collection that isn't expensive. I got to go with Bionic Commando. Yes, that's a great game, dude. Bionic Commando, I played it so much as a kid. Skate or Die 2. Skate or Die 2. Skate or okay. Die 2. So a lot of people pass this one off. They're like, oh, it's just another skateboarding game. Yeah. No, dude, this is like a skateboarding RPG action adventure. Yeah. Commando. That's and that's a clean copy too. Ten bucks seems like a good price on that. Oh, there we go. 
Mario Bros Duck Hunt for five bucks. That's the best price that we've seen today for this game. So I think I'm going to pick up from uh, from Shane's booth, Bionic Commando and Super Mario Bros slash Duck Hunt. So that's two more games knocked off the list. All right, here we are with Jared from Retro Game. You know what? Hey, we'll do Saturn, Steve, and Jared at the same time. This is going to be a retro three-way. All right. So you're gonna, you, what did oh. I sign up for? Here we are with Chris, my good friend Chris. All right, here we are with Ty, the man behind Game Jam South in Huntsville, Alabama. Awesome freaking convention. You guys got to check it out. So when when, when about next year is it going to be? This first week of May. First yeah, week of May. May 4th, May 5th. Okay. I want a recommendation for an essential... NES game that everybody should have in their collection, but isn't expensive. Something like thirty bucks or less. Okay. Uh, one out that instantly comes to mind is Dragon Power. Well, I'm only gonna say this because um, I just saw a 45 vinyl of the soundtrack, and I actually do like this game. But Russian Attack for the NES is a really cool. That game. is a good game. Um, sick Rivets. Sick Rivets. I've never heard of Sick Rivets. What's that about? So it's an LJ. It's an LJN. You're familiar with LJN? Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality. Yeah. Call of the games. Um, it's an FPS. Saturn Steve, what you got, man? Crystallis. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Great game. It's a SNK's finest. It's a top down uh, action RPG. It kind of took the Zelda formula, but went all in. The sprites were bigger, the animation was more fluid, the, the soundtrack was amazing, and yeah. it's still really, really reasonably priced. <laughs> I just saw one. I just saw one. Here we go. Russian attack on the NES. So we got Russian attack here for seven bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Oh. <laughs> Five bucks, that's a great freaking price. Skater die too already, and it's only six bucks, and that's a clean copy. I'm liking these prices. I'm liking these prices. This is great. Dude, there's Jackal. Okay, so looking through here on this stack, I already found three of the games we need. We got Kung Fu, Skater Die 2, and Jackal. Uh, I'm gonna see what kind of deal I can get on this stack of three games. Right now it's sitting at 21. I'm gonna see if I can do 18. Uh, would you do 18 for these? It's 21 total. Would you do 18 cash? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Oh. <laughs> 